Hi everyone and welcome along. With Halloween a week away, I thought it would be a perfect time to do some fun and simple friendly ghosts. So grab your paints and let's get started. So Halloween content um, is not for everybody, but and it's funny, my, my mum didn't like really love Halloween, so we didn't do a huge amount of it when we were younger. But what I've I've come to enjoy in adult years is that it really can be whatever you make it and it's also just about the lovely colours of the season. So we're going to do a really nice piece using, um, firstly we're going to make a little wash of buff titanium and permanent rose because it makes a really nice sort of blush tone. Uh, buff titanium is a great useful sort of mixing colour. I, I use it an awful lot these days and actually It's, it's just, yeah, it's a very, very useful colour to have in your palette. So the, the one I have is um, by Daniel Smith. Um, but what we're going to do is we're going to create some friendly little ghosts flying around using um, a bit of negative space. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw out the shapes. So And we'll have a little one up here as well. <laughs> so that's going to be the, the key thing. And I've got a size 8 brush. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to paint a, a wash around these ghosts, basically. And I want to make it a nice little sort of soft edged rectangle. So the key with something like this is you need to be able to work quite fast and get those edges painted in. So use a large brush. You could use an even larger brush to be honest. But if you just make sure that whatever you're painting, that you don't leave a raw edge dry for too long, you'll be able to fill up your rectangle with a nice wash fairly fast and fairly smoothly. Okay, so that's dried really nicely, so we need to let it dry 100%. And now I'm going to draw in some little curves that are going to be my <clears throat> little Halloween bats. So I find, by the way, ex please excuse the orange paint all over my hands. I cannot get it off. I've been, <laughs> I've been decorating the downstairs loo and um, it's, um, yeah, yeah, I'm a messy painter. I don't know if you if you noticed that. Okay, so these curves are going to be the sort of basic structure for our bats, which I'm going to show you how to do. And then I'm also going to just draw in these little shapes, which are going to be Halloween spiders. Now I know spiders are not that popular, but it's Halloween, so you know. We're going to we're going to be brave, and then the other thing I'm going to fill it up in the gaps with some moons and stars. But let's have a go at painting a Halloween bat. So um, Mars Black I've got here in my uh, in my palette. Let's wake that up a little bit. But I also like to add a bit of Payne's Grey to my dark colours because the Payne's Grey. Is lovely and inky and we need a nice sort of concentrated amount of color so we need to get it really nice and strong and deep and dark okay I'm going to use my size zero brush that feels like a good good idea and what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, let's use this one so in the middle I'm going to put two little bat's ears. 
couple of two little poke, pokey things coming up and then I'm going to paint up the wing. And curve out like that and then I'm going to do it it's an inverted scallop edge and another one and it's uh, sort of up to you really like how how you go um, I'm just going to paint like that as a nice simple bat and then I'm going to just put that in like that and then we can just color color him in um, it's funny I think bats are one of those things a bit like bicycles that you think you know exactly what they look like but if you had to draw them it's a bit of a oh my goodness a bit of a head scratcher but actually if you just break it down into that basic structure, you end up with a pretty good bat. So you can see just by adapting that shape, you can just play around with the curve and the ears and the, and the points. Um, but we're now going to paint some spiders. So I'm going to paint a little head and a body just in that little oval shape I drew and then I think probably want to go down to a smaller brush so I've got a two tenths here which should be should be small enough we just need to make sure we've got a nice fine point on the brush and I'll just turn the page so I've got my spider sort of nice and nice and straight on here. So I'm going to have, we've got eight legs we need to put in, so we'll put in two from the neck there, or you know, you know what I mean when I say the neck. Um, and then another coming out there, and then There we go. So that's what we're looking for. And again, we can play around with the position of the legs. Slightly less variation than, than the bat offered. But, um, you know, they're, they may be a little bit creepy crawly spiders and I, uh, I will admit they're not my favorite thing but they're just getting on with life aren't they and this time of year is their time to shine quite literally because uh, we've got quite a lot in the house at the moment <laughs> and I do tend to ask Ant to deal with them um, anyway right so we've got our spiders in let's get those in and then we can put in a bit of color now we're moving on to a bit of colour. So I've got my size 2 brush and just some simple cadmium orange and I'm going to fill up the rest of the space with some simple little shapes. So we can have a moon, a crescent moon. It's up to you sort of what, what brush you want to use to get the control. I'm feeling I'm just about in control of a crescent moon. Oh, now Crumble is barking, so we might just need to uh, sort him out before we carry on. So um, Crumble is basically our doorbell, but quite an aggressive one. O only aggressive in the sound. He, he then, as soon as anyone arrives, he then basically loves them and licks them. So uh, anyway, back to the moon. So the good thing is you can do them in sort of different stages of thin and thickness. Also some stars, so I'm going to do a little five-pointed star and then colour it in. The idea is that it's quite a sort of cuddly star, 
And what I mean by that is we're not worried about sort of perfection and, and sharp points. I quite like the stars being a little bit soft and a little bit friendly um, because this is a sort of friendly, friendly page of Halloween things. So should we go over that star together? Let's pop one in here, a little one. Okay, so starting at the top, go down and then a little V like that on its side, then across and down and join it all together. And usually you can then, you might need to sort of tweak it here and there, but that's kind of fun. And I quite like the different sizes so little, little ones as well, dotted in amongst the slightly larger ones. And the other thing we're going to fill in our page with is some pumpkins, but they're just going to be simple little ones. So we're just going to paint in some oval shapes or some round shapes in this nice concentrated cadmium orange. So essentially we want to fill up the space now with these various orange icons and we'll let them dry 100% and then we'll do the final details. So now I've let that all dry 100% it's time to finish it off. So I've got some more sort of concentrated black and in fact I think I'm going to go for my smallest brush to finish this off with all the details. So our pumpkins need some faces. So triangular eyes always seem to be quite sort of quite jovial and then if you just draw yourself a, a curved smile then you can sort of build up from that. It is really important that the uh, pumpkin has dried already 100% otherwise your detail on the top layered over will not look very crisp. So you can have a bit of fun playing around with the uh, the faces you carve into your pumpkins. And for the ghosts, I've always enjoyed uh, just a sort of, I like two eyes and, um, and nothing else. You could do a mouth if you want. Um, I've just always quite enjoyed, I feel they're, they're a bit more friendly. Sometimes if, it, if you just sort of, if you just let them have eyes. This brush is maybe a little bit small, that's quite funny. I might just upgrade to a, to a zero. Yeah, sometimes the small brush is not the answer. There we go. So the last thing I'm doing to finish off is just to add a little bit of cadmium red uh, a few little lines to our pumpkins and then a little stalk like that and then once we've done all of that it's just a case of allowing it to dry 100% and rubbing out the pencil and then you'll be left with a really cool little Halloween sort of card design or just a fun thing for your journal, a fun illustration project. And there we have our finished piece, our friendly ghosts floating around, all the pencils rubbed out and it's a lovely way of creating ghosts um, without having to worry about sort of painting white onto a white page if you create a background around the edge. So thanks so much for watching and I really hope you enjoyed that one. 
Thanks so much for watching, I really hope you enjoyed that one. And don't forget, spaces are filling up on our Morocco Botanical Workshop, so I'd love to see you there. If you're interested to come, then all the details are in the episode notes below. I want to say a huge thank you to my patrons for their support, because that support enables us to keep creating videos like these that everyone can enjoy. And if you enjoyed it, then hit the like button and comment below to let me know how you got on with that one. And of course, if you never want to miss another video, then hit the subscription button and the little notification bell and we'll see you again next time. Bye!